Reggae in Japan, a winning combination for Jamaica tourism. Going after Japanese visitors could be a giant win for Jamaica and perhaps the rest of the Caribbean. The timing is also perfect since Japan is just opening up for outbound tourism after COVID. Competing with traditional markets like Hawaii, the Caribbean is further away but may be more cost-effective due to an all-inclusive resort concept not being available in Hawaii. It also opens up the opportunity to combine a U.S. trip with Jamaica or other Caribbean islands. The Caribbean is seen as a new destination. Destination weddings are another huge and new opportunity for this market. Jamaica Minister of Tourism Hun Edmund Bartlett has indicated that tapping into the Japanese outbound market is a priority for Jamaica as the destination continues its strong recovery from the pandemic. The announcement follows fruitful discussions with senior executives of the Japan Association of Travel Agents, JADA, yesterday during the Japan Expo in Tokyo. Japan represents a key market for re-engagement given the country's outbound travel of over 20 million in 2019 and the strong cultural and diplomatic connections with Jamaica. The timing is also perfect as COVID-19 restrictions in Japan are set to be lifted by October 11, said Minister Bartlett. Minister of Tourism, Hun Edmund Bartlett, L., presents Mr. Hiroyuki Takahashi, chairperson of JADA, with a book titled, Tourism Resilience, Recovery and Sustainability for Global Development, Navigating COVID-19 and the Future, following discussions on re-engagement of the Japanese market. JADA is one of the largest travel agent associations with over 1,000 active travel companies, with over 500 organizing and selling overseas and domestic package tours. Chairperson of JADA, Mr. Hiroyuki Takahashi expressed optimism about the rebound of Japanese travel and highlighted the readiness of tour operators to begin selling as restrictions are lifted. He also agreed that tourism resilience was key for recovery, as the global industry remains vulnerable to several shocks. There is a strong synergy between Jamaica and Japan that dates back to our nearly 60 years of diplomatic partnership, and this is a good base to strengthen our ties in tourism and resilience building. Now is the time to innovate and attract Japanese visitors with our authentic Jamaican experiences, added Minister Bartlett. We are seeing pent-up demand for travel and will be capitalizing on this with some of our known and beloved assets, like our Blue Mountain coffee, diverse culinary offerings, and infectious reggae. Discussions with JADA is to collaborate with JTB to have a mega-familiarization trip of the best multilingual travel agents to Jamaica early next year, which will allow for better selling and packaging of destination for vacation seekers, said Donovan White, Director of Tourism, Jamaica. Over the next few weeks, there will also be discussions with Japan Airlines and ANA Airlines to finalize code-share arrangements that will allow the Japanese travel agents to package and sell Jamaica with United States and Canadian carriers. Jamaican Ambassador to Japan, Her Excellency, Ms. Shorna K. Richards, C., engages with patrons at the Jamaica Tourist Board booth at Japan Expo, who were treated to Blue Mountain coffee, authentic Jamaican snacks, and reggae music. Approximately 1.1 million Japanese traveled between April and August when the market began reopening. Data among Japanese travelers suggest that culinary experiences will remain a key motivator for travel. Other traditional motivators such as shopping, natural and scenic attractions, and historical, cultural attractions will also remain key drivers.